Hello everyone, this is Dan Tortora of Wake Up Call here with Bob Beretta, the Director of Athletics in a segment that we're calling AD and DT for the Athletics Director and of course myself, Dan Tortora, here at Lemoyne College and we're very happy to be with you every single month and today's special, the inaugural AD and DT in our multimedia marketing partnership with Lemoyne and Wake Up Call as well as Dan Tortora Broadcast Media has to do with getting to know Bob Beretta a little bit better. So, Bob, welcome. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Pleasure to be here with you. Absolutely. And, and first and foremost, uh, where did the passion and the love for athletics begin for you? Yeah, well, first of all, I'd love to say thank you to your loyal fans and listeners and, and those watching. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here as part of this uh, multimedia partnership, and I'm, I'm so thrilled that we're able to tell a Lemoyne story through, through your voice and, and through your words. So thank you for that. Absolutely. You know, my passion for athletics goes back to my childhood days, Dan, really. I loved baseball. I loved all sports. I played baseball and football and basketball in high school and really focused in on baseball as my love and went to St. Bonaventure, played baseball at St. Bonaventure, and I was exposed to the career of athletics at that point in time that I could potentially pursue a career in, in college athletics. I started working in the sports information office my final two years. I was the SID for the baseball team and I was on the baseball team, so my stats might have been you know, a little bit better than, than they should have been uh, back then. But uh, I, I, was, I was introduced to this wonderful world of collegiate athletics and, and decided that I might have an opportunity to make a career out of it. And I went back to my home where I, where I grew up in the Hudson Valley and, and had interned at West Point for two summers working for the school newspaper, the Post newspaper, and began an internship in their sports information office. They started one for me at that time. It was just really excellent timing on my, on my I was really uh, fortunate that the timing worked out. And 34 years later, I had the longest internship known to man. I was still there until I uh, became the athletic director here at Lemoyne. So for you, you know, playing sports throughout your life, which led into getting into sports information and all of that, did you see that while you were playing? Did you say, hey, I need to find an angle and a way to stay within this athletics world? Was that always kind of maybe in the back of your mind? Interesting, Dan, and um, it's a great question. You know, I wanted to be a writer. I loved to write. Even as an eight- and nine-year-old boy, I remember watching World Series games. I remember watching the uh, Mets and, and A's World Series in 73 or 74. I'm going to date myself now. But I go back and I find notebooks where I wrote game stories. So I love to write. Yeah. I went to St. Bonaventure to become a writer. And in my mind, I was going to become a sports reporter. That's really what I wanted to do. And then I got introduced to this world of, of collegiate athletics and sports information where I could write and still be part of a team, which I thought was really cool. That's what I wanted to do, right? I wanted to stay in athletics. And the more I got exposed to it, the more I enjoyed it. So I'd say... My mindset maybe going into my senior year, okay. after I'd worked a year in, in the field, was this might be something I, I could pursue. And then certainly as my senior year went on, I decided that I wanted to try to um, build a career in sports information if I could. And that's where I started. That's where I started at West Point. And at West Point, looking back on those days, what are some of the biggest things that you take with you here today from West Point? So much. To be honest with you, uh, so much of the character piece, so much of the work ethic, so much of the respect for our student athletes, respect for uh, an institution such as West Point, yeah. an institution like Lemoyne, to be quite honest with you, it's what helped attract me to Lemoyne. I wanted to come to a, a place where I really felt I believed in the mission that I would fit very well in my character set, my value set. And uh, I, I took structure, I took discipline. And I, and, I wor and I took a, a, an unbelievable appreciation for our military, to be quite honest with you. Not that I didn't have that before, but after being around the best and the brightest that this country has to offer and being around their unbelievable attitude towards service and that notion of service, it, it really has become a, a major driving factor in my life and, and service is a big part of of what we believe in here at Lemoyne and with the Jesuit value system. So it helped, it helped carry me here to the Heights as well. And before we finish up this episode of AD and DT in our Lemoyne partnership here, multimedia marketing partnership through Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora and Dan Tortora Broadcast Media, this being the inaugural show, 
you and I off the air bonded over like minds, like morals, like values. Mm -hmm. What are some of those values that are imperative to you to have in your daily life? Yeah, that's a great question, Dan. And I think I was asked that a lot during the interview process here at Lemoyne. And I, I think honor, integrity, duty, uh, gratitude, empathy, enthusiasm, passion, those are all things that, that embody my personal makeup. And those are the types of things that I think will drive our athletic department. We want to operate at the highest levels of integrity with great honor, with a passion for what we do, and with that service-mindedness that we want to be servant leaders. And I think it all comes back to being humble and being and being very grateful for this opportunity that we have to work in college athletics. You know, I get to be the athletic director at LeMoyne, and, and I know there are um, hundreds, if not thousands, of people that would love to, to sit in this chair I get that opportunity, I don't take it lightly, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Final question, and really the question of this entire broadcast today, who is Bob Beretta? Hmm. Bob Beretta is someone that uh, has great passion for what he does, uh, someone uh, that, that has strong belief system that operates, I hope people would say, with the highest levels of integrity. But passion is what drives me. Passion is what kept me at West Point for 34 years. I believed in the mission deeply. I still do. I believe in uh, the value set, the fact that we were developing leaders of character to go out and lead our nation's sons and daughters in the war. That meant a great deal to me. And now to come to Le Moyne and feel like we can have the same type of impact in developing leaders of character, that's very important. So it's very important to me. It's who I am. It's what drives me. It's, it's the moral set that was instilled in me in a young age. So it's someone who has uh, great compassion, great empathy, but, but a burning passion to, to succeed and a burning passion to elevate. And what drives me every day is trying to provide that extraordinary experience to our, our student athletes because I understand they have a very finite period to perform in their career at this level. And I wanna make sure that we're doing everything in our power to provide them with the highest levels of service and a memory set that when they leave Lemoyne, they'll look back at their four days on the heights and look back to their time as a dolphin and, and know that it was the best period of their life. So all that kind of drives me. It's who I am. It's what makes me uh, who I am. And, and hopefully I'm able to, to bring that a little bit to our department and, and it'll be how we operate on a daily basis. Yeah, coming from Bob Barretta, Director of Athletics at Lemoyne College. In our next video of AD and DT, you will learn why Lemoyne for Bob. Of course, I'm Dan Tortora of Wake Up Call and Dan Tortora Broadcast Media. We appreciate you, and as always, fins up. Fins up, Dan.